Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. Today we are playing a game I have been wanting to play for quite some time. Um, so this is Stacking. This was made by uh, Double Fine, I think. Um, they, um, this is, this is, this is an older indie game. This is one of, like, the earliest, like, indie games that I fell in love with. Um, I have this on my computer, and unfortunately, I actually recorded one episode of this, like, right at the beginning of my, um, channel, and then the update to Apple happened, so suddenly I wasn't able to play it. So, now we're playing it now, and because I have it on the PS3 as well, because I love it that much. Uh, that's how many of my indie games are, where I have it on multiple different... <laughs> <laughs> both both my computer and an assortment of consoles so um yeah so stacking is a <clears throat> very unique game uh <laughs> food toilet paper blankets no no nothing like that <laughs> master chimney sweep fantastic um yeah so the game itself is um one it's so unique looking um with this like turn of the century kind of appearance and also the fact that it's it, it's almost got like an i spy kind of feel like the like the old i spy books where it's like these worlds built out of what are clearly tiny things um like these are clearly meant to be toys and the things surrounding them are stuff made from you know like crafts and stuff like that it's super cute but with that also just very old school look um not old school just old um <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sniffly. Um, I'm recording this after Portal 2, so even though uh, I have finished all the Portal videos, um, this this recording is like a week later, and I feel better. Uh, still a bit of sniffles, still have a bit of allergies, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, uh, and then the gameplay itself is also ridiculously unique. Um, so uh, if you're not paying attention to the story and just listening to me talk, basically... Um, the uh there there's this bad guy who is like taking children and using them essentially as slave labor for the rich and um and then the gameplay itself relates to uh, these being uh rushing stacking dolls where we have to use our tiny little guy albert here he will go and uh stack with other dolls um <laughs> it's an, just an interesting idea and then as you get bigger and as you uh, work with different dolls you end up getting different abilities which some of them are useful some of them are just interesting and it's super cool to just it this is a game that feels like a toy as much as a game because you actually get to uh interact and play with the things like you you can do the task but like I don't think any of them have like any sort of time limits. Um, it's mostly just do stuff at your own pace. Um, as long as you complete like the main task, but there's a whole bunch of other side quests and stuff like that. Um, and all sorts of different characters that you can find. And um, it's just super cool. So I've, uh, I've been excited to play this for a while and so happy that I finally can um, in terms of recording, obviously. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like look at that thing that's clearly made out of spoons and popsicle sticks so um just adorable whole thing is adorable levi levi the hobo <laughs> yeah also there there's hobos <laughs> this is a time when you could call them hobos and they had stuff in a bindle on a stick so yeah <laughs> All right, so now we get to move around a little bit. Uh, I will say that the controls are a little strong at times. I wonder if I can adjust these at all. Settings. Eh, I'll figure it out. That should be fine. I don't think I'll get any copyright strikes because I'm pretty sure all the music is like classical music, but uh... hi there, Charlie. little hmm plays a little bit finicky uh but that's fine oh no hello <laughs> hello small child covered in soot 
<laughs> There's so much character to the interact, considering that they're they're you know, their faces don't change. Um, all their movements display their personalities. Like their their faces don't move. They they can't move their bodies. It's just between the the movements of the like the top pieces essentially create the the characters. So it's it's pretty impressive how well they do this. Can't skip these. Nope. 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 Okay. What was that? I'm not even sure what button I pressed there. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's talk some sense into these adults. That's another thing that's cute about this. It's clearly just like a kids versus the adults kind of situation. All right, let's go do stuff. I'm gonna have to get used. Thank goodness they keep the controls like up in the corner for me, because otherwise I would forget the controls half the time in this game. <laughs> Look at this, it is so charming. Like, this whole thing. Key master. And yeah. So now you get to see this world and what we can do in it. And I guess other people don't have this ability that we do. So, but uh, yeah, here we go. And of course, we can only stack in things that are the next level higher for us. So, we have this stack and stack. And then every character has abilities that they use. This guy, I can't push through, oh no. Make way. Move away from me. Yes, yes. Let's see, I'm trying to remember. I can do, nope. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh huh. okay. So, now uh, I can unstack this guy. And everyone has different abilities, so. Um, so my ability here, sipping tea. Doesn't really do anything. This guy, rancid belch. Chase people away, or just gross them out. Hi there. What do you have to say? <laughs> there is very cute. Just everything is very cute in this. You have anything else for me to say? Poor children will be released. All right, so everyone's on strike. Oh, so these are grown-ups who are on strike. And then once they're satisfied, then we'll have the kids. So, um, I need things to do. Low bubbles. So, small child. And, of course, most of the characters... Yes, what, what do you need? All right. So, I can blow a bubble. All right, so there's the key master, and we need him, and there we go. Now we can use this specialty. Unlock. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you, key master. And, uh, and with this, you can see that we have um, there are specialty characters in each level that we can unlock to do different stuff. So now we're going to go see the main area. Uh, Intuition. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. See, that's nice. That tells you, kind of, uh, gives you an idea of what you're supposed to be doing, at least in terms of your objectives. Oh, no. Nothing for you to unlock. Hmm. Alright, what do we need to do here? I forget. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Well, thank you for telling me how to talk to people. All right. So, ah, the lounge. So this is where we need to go. Because inside this lounge is where we have the conductors. <laughs> so now we have to sneak into the lounge. So that is the goal of this one. So how do we do that? Hmm, this guy. Hmm back away. Only I'm unlocked. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, let's see. So, there's some other things we can do. Hmm. You there. You look interesting. Hmm. 
All right, we've got the Clerk of Works, Jasper. Hmm, I wonder if he can maintain things. Oh, good. We seem to have fixed this problem. This is definitely a problem that we needed to fix. So, hi there. Yes. <laughs> the mood is ruined. So the, the, this whole game, a lot of the stuff revolves around pompous people. <laughs> Rumpf, her rumpf. Like, there's so much focus on like character interactions of like poor these this place is full of poor people. Disgusting. Uh, yes, there are multiple solutions to this. So now we got this guy, and this guy, and this guy. And they all have their own abilities. And this guy is just really loud and fast. Alright, so what do we got up here? So we're just going to explore a little bit, because um, there's lots of things to do. Uh, yes, yes, we have to open this up first. Uh, so we'll go down and do that. I don't know if there's any other tasks that we need to do with these guys. Um, but yeah, but I know at least we can talk to the, to the strike and get them... Fantastic. <laughs> we want our demands met. Hello. <laughs> of course, they get the little one to shout. What are your demands, Union Leader? <laughs> nope. Looks like we've come to an agreement. And what is that agreement? <laughs> Nutmeg for the lunch meals. <laughs> well, that's uh, that seems like a easy met. Free the children? We know. <laughs> Free the children. Yes, yes, of course. You know, the enslaved children. It's okay. We can let them go now. Yeah, there. This this game is very kind of okay with uh, child slavery. A um, little weird, <laughs> but I think that's that's just kind of a sign of all Double Fine games is that there's just a little bit of weirdness to them at all times. So, uh huh. The steamship. So we'll travel to there next. But I do want to do a little more exploration around here. So. Where are we at? We're only at 10 minutes in this. You can finish this game pretty quickly if you're not doing any of the side quest stuff. But uh, even even with the side quest stuff, there's you, you can move relatively quickly with some of the stuff. So, Hooray, the strike is over. Black one cough. Oh, that's fun. Hello, pigeon. A lot of, uh, a lot of early interactions here. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Just the tiny little wings. All right. Let's see what you got. What do you got for old Charlie? It's so cute. Look at this. It's like it's like a little stage show. So here's where uh, our our good friend collects memorabilia from all our travels. Tell them all our adventurous stories. <laughs> Levi? Hello? Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like... I feel like I had this happen the, the first time when I tried recording this where I was like, I'm not sure what else to say, especially with all these cutscenes. Um, but this is just like super cool with this. Um... So as you fill in more stuff and complete more tasks, you get um, extra things. So like with the paintings uh, there that you see, um, it shows like for, for the different tasks, like how many ways you can solve it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go solve some more things and find some more people because I want more stuff. <laughs> 
Charlie is not built for precision movement. <laughs> probably get out of this condemned railway station here. Probably a good idea. Alright, what do we got here? All of you, harumph, harumph, I say. Oh, yes, the hearing horn guy. Alright, key maker. What are some other tasks I can do while here? Let's see, who are you? Are you anything significant? Children should not be allowed to gather in numbers. Yeah, this is a very old school feeling towards things. Hello, big la large man. Come closer. I can't see you. <laughs> How are you so small? Oh, hello, small child. You seem significant. Ah, yes, yes. So this one's important. Here's a little task we can do. Um, let's see. Where's the little guy? Remember the little guy? Stop, drop, and roll. No, that's not him. Hmm. Okay, well, there's the mom. She gives the expectations of what we're doing. Yes, I need the children. Where are the children? Hmm. Where is this small child? Is that him? That might be him. Oh, that's a dog. Are you? No, you're just a... <laughs> slap a person. Uh, let's see, where's the little boy? Oh, I think he's in... He might be in the bathroom, actually. Alright, let's go fight. Gentleman... Ah, yes, there he is. Hello. Oh, come here, you. Ah, yes, go potty. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 a fair amount of crude humor in this. I wonder if I hmm. hello there. <laughs> I think my socks are wet. gross. Kid, come on now. All right, let's go find your sister. Ah, yes, there's a smoky guy. I need him. And you and she does a little dance and then we'll go find the mama so a lot of the tasks are like require you to stack like specific groups together um that you that have some kind of connection to each other so that's this one and we found the taurus from accident accidental i don't know <laughs> they're basically german or dutch i don't know whatever they are it's cute. <laughs> Hello, Mama. <laughs> this is not the Schnitzel Museum. Yes, of course. <laughs> we went on vacation, and now you just want to go home because we didn't end up to the Schnitzel Museum. <sighs> Ungrateful little. Strong little guy. All right, so now we can get some of the other characters. So that guy's one of them. I know that. Hello there, sir. Hmm. Flatulate, huh? Yeah. Um, obviously, I have played through this a couple times, so I do know most of the tasks. Although some of them I will guarantee that I'll need uh, some some practice remembering. And luckily, they do. That there is a fair amount of a hint system in this as well. Uh, yes, and then the other one. I remember this next one. Hello there, Miss Hips. The Widow Chastity. Uh, hello. <laughs> Come with me. And then, oh yeah, and then I need the Key Master. Forgot about that part. Gotta go get him. I knew there was another thing I could do with the keys. Couldn't remember exactly though. All right, let's go find Keymaster, and then we might have to seduce again. But uh, either way, it's fine. It's fine. All right, big guy, come on. You have things to unlock. Off we go. I just love the cuteness of this, and I, I'm I, you know I do thoroughly enjoy any game that doesn't have like 
specific time limits, but it's just an exploration. Because this is very much just that. It's like, it's like letting you do all sorts of tasks at your own leisure and giving you a... Uh, I, okay. Did I? There it is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I didn't find all solutions. Well, hello there. I I do not. <laughs> Everyone out now. Ah, uh, the butler. All right. Well, now at this point, <laughs> the lounge is open to the public because we basically ruined his job by uh, t just get, kept letting everyone in. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, yes, the strike leader. All right. And I need this guy. Come here, you. Oh, wait. I already got him. Uh, let's see. I do think I need this guy now. Now that we can do the guard. And I think I can do the waiter. Maybe. Yep. There it is. The lounge host. And hello there. Insult patrons. <laughs> you have the style of a maligned clown. Oh, I love these. It's seriously, like, there, there's just so much silliness to it, but it, like, works so well. Like, look at this. <laughs> the little olives. The flowers are just olives in wine corks. Um, let's see. So now I think we've got, we've finished a fair amount of this area. Um, I don't think there's any more tasks to do right now. There will be more stuff later. Uh, there might be a thing now. I think there's a thing later that I need to do. But that will require some other stuff. And hello. Oh, well, that's problematic. Oh, and I think there's, like, secret things you can do. Secret challenges. You might have to... Hmm... I'm pretty sure there's a thing with the smoking guy. Where's the smoking guy? <laughs> oh, there he is. Excuse me. I wish to inhabit your body. <laughs> I think there's a challenge of like make like five people in one area cough. Maybe that's something that'll happen later. But anyway, um, can I go in the ladies' room? Oh dear, I'm going to get myself in trouble. <laughs> yes, yes, very well. Okay, um, oh, there's one other thing. I know there's one other thing. I think it's up here. It was closed before because of the strike, but I think it's open now so I can go find it. Maybe the other tasks unlock later once you've, like, opened up more stuff. Hello. The Top Hat Lounge. Oh, no. That will not do. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I remember this. These conductors. They're significant. And a judge. Oh. Deliver justice. Uh-huh. All right. Let's see. Is this guy... Is this guy a stack? I think this is a stack. There's another... There's another train guy that I need. Let's go see if I can find him. It's another big guy. This might be the biggest I can get, though. Because that huge guy in there I couldn't quite get. So that one might have to come back later. Uh -huh. Here we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the thing I wanted. <laughs> the drummer. They're so happy to be mining their coal now. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, I think we've seen enough of this, so we'll head to the next level. Um, I don't know, should I save up at this point? I haven't been playing too terribly long. Let's get to the next level, at least get through the cutscenes and stuff, and then uh, we can kind of go from there. I'm missing one other person. I think it's the big guy. But, uh, we'll come back for him. Because I don't know if I can get him yet. He's too big. Alright, yeah, let's move on to the next level, and then we'll come back later and complete some other stuff. So, all the board. Very good, sir, very good. Yes, yes, let us go there. The Gilded Steamship. All of these are, of course, run by... <laughs> ah, yes, the Steamship. The never-ending cruise. <laughs> what a crazy idea. I don't know how I would like that. I do like cruises, or I have in the past. I don't know if I would do them now with uh, with all the pandemic stuff. I, I feel like I've definitely lost my appeal for being... In confined spaces with large groups of people. <laughs> but uh, if it was this cruise ship, I don't know. I'd reconsider. Because it's a pretty nice one. <laughs> oh, of course. Another hiding child. <laughs> what are you hiding from, small one? <laughs> the pelicans. Cleaning the steam pipes. Yes, yes. So now we have to stop the cruise ship to save our sister. <laughs> kind of hard to do because the cruise ship never stops. <laughs> and how shall I do that? Well, I have to piss off important people. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> this thing it's so cute like this whole game is just so charming with how just adorably put together it is like for for this you know for for being like these small little characters on these essentially giant play sets like i would love to see this in real life like i would love to see a like real life like perfectly sized like how big would this be to actually fit little dolls like this on it, at this scale. I still feel like it would still be a huge ship. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So, we have stuff to do. Hijinks, ah yes, that's, that's what it is. We have to cause some hijinks here. No, oh, oh, watch what the seaside safari. Yes. Now, oh, cause chaos at the safari. I think I can manage that. Paddleball. Play violin. Very nice. Yes, yes, very nice. Make way. No, no, don't make way. Actually, I need you. <laughs> ah, yes. Now I have the larger dolls. A proper uppercut. <laughs> Stay away from the scenery. I don't wanna. I wanna break the scenery. <laughs> Punch the little guy. Oh, there we go. Nope. I will not, sir. I will not. I will destroy them all. <laughs> Oh no, we've closed the safari. This will not do. <laughs> His little pop gun. <coughs> Super cute. Alright, we've already got one. One famous person angry. You may not see him. Her rumpf. <laughs> Alright, so now we have... So now that we have hijinks that we can do as well. So let's see what kind of hijinks we have. Ooh. So it doesn't tell me. It just gives me an idea of what I have to do. But not exactly. So now we got to figure out some things. <laughs> the guy's dressed as lions. Uh, let's see. I feel like this is... I feel like the, this, this guy... Fly to the nest. Uh, yes, yes. 
There's a toilet. Ah, yes, and the bear. <laughs> he's, he's got a proper home here. How can we cause some chaos? Well, how about put an actual bear? <laughs> That's a good way to end things. <laughs> yeah, this probably a good decision there, sir. Well, fantastic. Let's see, now there's this small child. Comfort me! Alright, can't do anything with the baby. Um, but I would like to punch some people. I need someone bigger. There we go. And you! Alright, let's do some proper uppercuts. There we go. <laughs> I've been slapped. And he'll give it back. <laughs> can't remember how many people I have to punch. But I feel like I'm getting close. You! You stay right there. Not the baby. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> ride the bike. I don't know why this bike is here, but we're gonna ride it. Okay. Can't remember how I gotta do that. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm probably not gonna 100% this, but I like doing the ones that I can, you know. Ah, uh, yes, this guy. That will do. Uh, the boars and the flamingo. Why are we launching cannons at flamingos? That's terrible. <laughs> but perhaps in there. Yes, that will do. <laughs> That's a fun way to mess things up. <laughs> Super cute. This game is just so charming. Alright, that's, uh... I think that'll be probably good. Alright, how do I make these guys stay where they are? Excuse me. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay, so punching was not a required thing. But slapping is. <laughs> Slap this. No, oh, can't hit the little ones. Only the big ones. Only the ones who deserve it. Which I kind of like. That, that it's like, it makes it so that you can only <laughs> bully people who are already kind of bullies. Not the little children. There we go. And now he has a hijinks completed, so now he has a a, a golden glove. <laughs> and that's how that works. Uh, let's see here. I think maybe just once the bikes show up, that's when I do the proper uppercut. There's a way for them to block things in the right time. Okay, now move back. Can't remember. I want to remember how to do this. Hang on. 
What's what's our other challenge? Give give me a hint. Uh, okay. Voyage is a never-ending cycle. Ah, yes, because it's giving me a hint about the cycle. <laughs> Just don't crash into us again. All right, so are they going to move? Yeah, there they go. Okay. So that was how they did that. Tell the two stewards holding the zebra to make way. Uh, oh, make way. Okay. So maybe I need to use... Ah, yes. So maybe we just have to do it at just the right time. Something like that. Once the zebra is moved, stack on top of the bike and run into the zebra. Okay, so maybe it was just that we just have to get it on time. So now that they've moved, we just gotta crash now. There we go. Boom. Straight through the zebra. That's it. Okay. Alright, so now we completed all the hijinks. Well, all the, all the challenges for that one. And that also means that now we can stack with that big fellow. He's of significance. Excuse me, I need someone of significance. <laughs> it's funny how big the characters look until like you see some of the other ones and you're like... <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, pirate. Oh, and the Pied Piper here. Of course, of course. Uh, let's see. I know this guy has something to do. Give me this fella. Got a yar at a few people. You there. Yar. <laughs> what do you need? When the voyage is over... Well, what's even the point of the, the thing? Oh, hello. Went to stack with that. Oh, uh, yes, we need the rats for something. Get over here. There we go. Keep on doing that little hijinks there. Oh, uh, yes, there's there's a thing. Small dog. Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. Small dog. And now... Let's see, I think one of the hijinks... Animal stack. Yes, yes. So we'll do that. And then we need a pelican. Yes, like you. Uh, where is this one's nest? Hmm. Where is your nest, little guy? Maybe there? That ah, looks like it. Yep, that'll do. Well, fantastic. And now we just need the bear. Because I think the goal is to stack three animals together. So, and I know the, other, the only other big one I know of is the bear. So I'm going to do that. But I have to get down first. <laughs> Moving around here can get a little confusing on the ship. It's like they're made of egg cart. They are egg cartons! <laughs> the lifeboats are egg cartons. Oh, that's so charming. Now get the bear. There is the bear. There we go. Animal stack. Okay. And what do you got here? Oh, hello. Uh, you're one of these, so I'll just take this with me. But I need you, and I need something else. Uh, there's a couple harumphs here. You're all a bunch of harumphs. Uh, let's see. I need another creative person. Where is... Where are these other interesting people? Got the small dog, got the lady, and then I think there's a child and then her husband. So we gotta find those. And that's gonna be related to the museum. Ah, yes, here we go. Husband? Yes, it is. Hello. Where is our child? Ronaldo. Child might be in here, I think. 
Maybe he's on the second floor. Let's keep searching. We got we got to find him. I think after that then we'll be good to save up for today. <clears throat> Hello, small child. Where are you? Yes, the the buffet. Mm -hmm. Eating caviar. I love that. The little caviar boats, kind of like this like the sushi thing. <laughs> That's some high quality caviar. Not gonna lie, would kind of be cool with that. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not like huge on caviar, but I mean, if it, if it was on a cruise like this, I'm pretty sure I'd make the exception for it because I guarantee it'd be some high quality stuff, for sure. All right, where's my little friend? Small child, where are you? <laughs> Gotta be around here somewhere. Excuse me, have you seen a magician? Oh yes, perform illusions on dolls. Ah, uh, this. You there. You've all been illusionified. You too, sir. <laughs> Is that him? No. That's the Tasha Christie's kid. <laughs> Get a couple of these. There we go. Mesmerized. Where is the small child? I'm missing one character from this stack, and I need it. Ah, yes, the map maker <laughs> on pieces of toilet paper. Towel service. Makes his maps on towels. Okay. Cookies on dowels. Maybe he is on the bottom floor. Maybe he's actually like in the museum already. I just gotta find him in there. Alright, let's go check there. I think that's our best bet. <laughs> I love how these are all like characters of such like classic kind of silly richness of like these these guys like the the safari master and the 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 this guy and hold on, I don't even know the words for these but they're just like such classic characters of what it meant to be an explorer a person of high prestige even though like they're not really like they, they don't really do things like that's kind of the funny thing with people of prestige back in the day is like Basically, like, you get people who, like, looted graves and, like, were like, look at this masterful works of these people who we thought were savages. It's like, no, they're, they're actually also other advanced people, but you just didn't know about them because you lived on a different part of the world. So, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting how our perspective of discovery and exploration, I mean, you know, how long have we had... Columbus Day and Christopher Columbus being considered like a hero and now we're like oh yeah he is a terrible person all right where's this last person now I'm mildly annoyed you there I'm looking for a tiny little boy or girl maybe I don't remember it's a small child that's all I know hmm They do some sort of tricks. If that helps. Up, oh, wait. There, there, there. Alright, don't need the bird. There we go. Gwendola. Perfect. Now we have the Lord of Confusion. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we made this stack, I'll just go ahead and uh, do one of the museum things and then we'll wrap up. Because we're at about 40 minutes and 45 minutes now. Record a little longer than I expected to. Trying to. Hmm. <laughs> Saw it in half. What a daring feat! Such talent, such grace. They vanished. <laughs> Gives you kind of a hint of like, oh, here's something you can do as well. All right, where'd that family go? 
Hello, you all salty sea dog. Ah, uh, yes, drop anchor. This guy. Here's some interesting fellas. Uh, I need some small people. There we go. Can I... Can't stack with this guy. Does he do a thing? I forget. <laughs> oh yes, this guy does makeovers on people. Forget what that requires me to do. Oh yeah, and zest and richness of life. Well, thank you. All right, I could use that artistic makeover, but you know what else I could use? A guy who drops anchor. Dropped anchor, Drew. Yeah, so I think this may be of some significance here. <laughs> Don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> I feel like there's there must be a pun I'm not getting here for dropping anchor. All right, golden anchor scared everyone. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do the, the museum thing real quick, and then we'll be done for today. So sorry, I keep I keep kind of delaying myself, but I'm just having fun with this. I've I've missed playing this. Um, where'd the illusionist family go? They were all in one place before. Ah, there we go. So now we have to mess with the museum and make things. Messy. <laughs> One way to do that. Perform an illusion. Excuse me, the statue has been gone. <laughs> and there we go. And we'll we'll solve some more next time. So uh, that is it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed um, stacking so far. I am looking forward to playing through more of this probably won't be too terribly many episodes but it'll at least be enough to keep me entertained for a little bit so i have definitely wanted to play this for a while and i'm excited that i finally can so um if you're enjoying this let me know leave a comment and all that good stuff um if uh, you have any other suggestions tell me and um go check out my other videos because i have a whole bunch so looking forward to making more and getting back on a, a normal schedule with getting these out on time so that is all for today. I'm um, just going to let this finish up. But thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.